Hi guys, my name's Chris and welcome to One Stop. We are here today with Craig from Nutriculture Grow Systems. He's going to give us a few hints and tips on setting up a recirculating DWC. Now, you might have heard of deep water culture and there is a difference between DWC and RDWC. Basically, in a DWC system, the water and nutrients are going to be held in one of these buckets or pots and it's going to be bubbling away all the time. In a recirculating system, the water and nutrients are going to be moving around in a loop and that's going to be drawing more oxygen around the plant's roots consistently. So there is a difference and that adds a little bit of extra oxygen and that can improve your yields that little bit more. So to set up your IDS RDWC system, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need the spanners to tighten up the nuts and bolts inside the pots. They come within the kit. A good pair of pipe cutters, don't go amiss. And plenty of hot water to make sure that the pipe goes over the fittings. Okay, so what we're going to do now is connect all the fittings to the pots. Connect the pipe to the fittings. And we've spaced this out at half a metre between each pot. But you use whatever you need to grow the taller or wider plants that you want. So each fitting, very simple to apply. You make sure you've got a washer on one end, slide it through there, a washer on the inside too, and then hold it in place with the nut. And you just want to hand tighten them in place at first, and then use the spanners later on to make sure they're nice and firmly in place. Okay, so make sure that all the nuts are tightened using the spanners provided. Um, easily done. Get it on the inside, give them a quarter of a turn, and then just check on the outside. So we've got all the fittings connected now, and we're going to connect the pipe. As I said before, we spaced this out at half a metre between each pot. So I've pre cut this pipe just to make it a bit easier. You might want to do the same, it'll speed the whole process up. I'm going to use hot water on each end of the pipe. It'll make sure that it goes over the fittings easily, but it'll also return back to its original shape, so it's going to give it a nice tight seal, making sure that there's no leaks. Now we've got everything connected up, we're in a position that we can talk a little bit about how it works. So as we mentioned previously, the nutrient solutions going all the way around the system and being drawn back through this centre pipe. Now an improvement that we've made to this system over the last 18 months or so is that we've moved from a 16mm return pipe to a 25mm return. And that's lowering the resistance back to the control unit. So on this return pipe, we've got a tap and a filter and you're going to use those to clean out your system regularly. The filter is going to catch any debris. Now you're going to be using one litre of clay pebbles with this system so there can be a little bit of dust. So the filter acts as a safeguard to make sure that it doesn't get any blockages at any point. Now what you're going to want to do is when your system's running you don't need to turn it off but what you can do is turn the tap to the off position and that's going to stop any water and nutrients getting through to the filter while you're cleaning. What we'd recommend though is using a little catchment tray just underneath your filter, unscrewing it, cleaning it out and putting it back on. That's just going to make sure that no dust or debris that's coming from your plants is inhibiting the movement of water and nutrients around the system and that's only going to be to the benefit of your plants. So to make sure that we've got oxygenation in the pots we're going to be using um, an air pump 
The one that we've got here is a Charles Austin ET30 pump, although you can get other high quality pumps from One Stop Grow Shop. So you can see we've already got this set up. The manifolds are all open and closed where there's no lines. And each line is going into the pot. Now I'm just going to connect the earth stone, which comes with the IWS RDWC, into the pot. Now at the bottom there, there's a locator for the stone. And that's to make sure that when it's bubbling away, it's not moving at all, not creating any unnecessary noise for you. So each part's going to use one litre of clay pebbles. Now you're going to use a high quality pebble, like gold label hydrocorn. You're really going to want to wash that through before you start using the system and filling this up and putting your plants in. It just means that all that dust is taken away before you put it in the system. Each lid has an access point where you can check the water levels, you can check what's going on inside the pots. They're easily put in place and removed, as you can see. It just means you can keep an eye on it in your grow room or your grow tent, whichever you're using. So as this version is the IWS RDWC Pro with timer, what you're able to do is time the nutrients to move from your pots and your control unit back to your header tank. Now what that's going to do is refresh the nutrients, make sure that the pH is stable because it's mixing in with cooler nutrient solution again. And then when the timer flicks off, at whatever time you set it to, it'll come back into the system and it'll be extra potent for your plants. Um, do you have any recommendations for how many times the system should be drained and then refilled at all? I think a couple of times a day, um, but during these warmer months, you want to make sure that you're doing it a little bit more. If you're keeping your solution to a temperature of 17 to 20 degrees, that's ideal. But in these warmer months, you're going to see that rise quicker. So if you can actually send it back maybe a couple of times more, particularly in these summer months, you're going to make sure you're keeping that temperature lower and within that range so it makes it more effective within this system. So within the system, you're going to want to make sure that you're keeping your pH around 5.8 to 6.2. That's really where it's going to, your nutrient solution is going to be most effective within this system. Um, regularly checking the tank is probably the best way to do that instead of going into each individual pot, although you can do that if you are going to be extra thorough.